Zoom. Well, hello there, Vrim Rims, and other supple, fleshy tentacles. Welcome to Large Marge's Large and In-Charge Animal Museum, featuring Large Marge and everybody's favorite collection of animals inside a museum. Uh, except for that last bit, which is something we still have quite yet to nail down. On the subject of nailing down... Oh, dear. Yesterday, we started nailing down a bunch of biovats for the Grand Joris Donut. Name pending. It's a... I, I don't know what to call it quite yet. A series of concentric biovats to house the safest Joruses on the outside and the most dangerous Joruses right there in the center. Now, on the subject of Joruses and on the subject of animals in general, uh, our zoo school right now isn't working. It's ever since I added one of those new mods. I don't know what mod is conflicting with it. Uh, I've done a little messing around with the load order too, but I haven't been able to fix it yet. I'll try that for tomorrow. But like I said, we do actually have a spreadsheet going uh, where I have been keeping track of all of our various different animals. So I'll, I'll make sure I pop this open at the start of every episode just so you guys can see what we've got going on here. Um, but for the most part, we're, we're doing actually very, very well, I think. 911 on our final score. We have obviously none of the bonus achievements. Um, things like, say, for example, gotta catch them all is getting all the all the Joruses from what I, from what I remember. Um, Cross-pollination for getting the... Uh, Genetic room animals and the bees. We've got another bonus achievements that I came up with. But we do have 911 score. The one thing I do want to work on, though, is the Joris collection. As you can see, we've only got five Jorises. We've got, if I can remember them off the top of my head here, we've got Jock Excellente, SpongeBob, uh, Sponge Joris Square Bonson, that's it. Uh, round Joris, Block Joris, and Chainsaw Joris for the five Jorises. Because every other bloody Joris I've dropped potted in has been devoured by a dragon. So I think we'll start moving our Jorises down here into storage. The five Jorises we've got, because we've got five bioreactors for. And then when we've got the six one built, as we build the bioreactors, we'll call in the next Joris drop pod. And we'll kind of rinse and repeat that until hopefully, you know, I would love to say today as our final goal to have the Joris Museum complete. There are a few Jorises where that will be functionally impossible. I believe the biblically accurate Joris could only appear with the event. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, it's a bad day to be a sponge-shaped polar bear or a polar bear-shaped sponge. I'm not really sure which way around that is. We're going to anesthetize all the animals. I'm sorry, Jockey Excellente. You're off to a better place. Oh, my bad. We've got Jubidoo as well. Oh, six total Jorises then. All right, I'll, uh, I'll get the spreadsheet updated in a second. There we are. I'll also make the spreadsheet publicly available as well. I'll link it from my Google Drive rather than the person who uploaded it originally. Uh, again, full credit goes out to Commander for throwing that spreadsheet together and then also to Brat Vertinator for the um, for some of the counters as well. I'll stick a link to that in the top comment if I remember. Uh, I'll put it in the description as well. Why not? It'll either be in the top comment in the description, maybe even both if I, if I do actually remember there. So if you want to play along, if you also have thrown in enough mods to break the zoo score like I have, it might just be simply down to the biovats or something like that. Now, many people have pointed out that the animals in the biovats don't count towards the zoo score, which is why I started tracking it on the spreadsheet. But eventually, when we get to the end of it and we, you know, we see that our... I would say our museum is complete. We'll let everything released as kind of the big final thing we do. We'll let them all go free range. For some reason, it also turns out that refueling the bioreactors counts as hauling and not refueling, which is very bizarre. Uh, so I've increased the priority on that one. We could always put it up to maximum and maybe just take it off for a couple of people. To be honest, it's very straightforward. Everybody's got kind of a set job. Oh, we'll probably manage like that. That'll be fine. Do my eyes deceive me? Or do we have a rare animal wag? Give me that. What do you do? We take it for unknown reasons. Now connected with the animatories and therefore became bigger, stronger, and faster than a regular wog. Sounds perfect to get John nice and savage to kick off today's episode. <laughs> I love that he's put on plate mail. Where did you even get that? I mean, to be honest, it's I'm, I'm going to let him keep it because that's really not a terrible idea at all. Oh, Martinius already got it? Wow, I took back everything I said then. Okay, fair enough. Hey, that's really cool. How much are you worth in terms of market value? Thousand. That's another 10 points right there. Bill complete. Make anima... Animal. Animal power armor. Oh, I'm ripping up this floor, the asphalt floor, and changing it for steel. Because I'll be honest, the asphalt floor kind of hurts my eyes because it's like <laughs> higher resolution than a regular floor texture. Where did, where did the power armor go? Has somebody already grabbed it? Is somebody going to grab it? Could we give it to... I mean, all of our animals are non-sentient now. It's a bit of a shame. Keith, can you wear it? Keith, you can have it. Well, there's five of our Joris is loaded up. And for some reason, while I was loading them in, the zoo score suddenly started working. And not only is the zoo score working... But it's counting the animals now in the biovats, which is an incredible update or, or fix or whatever's happened there. Um, I'm not entirely sure why it just started working. I didn't reboot the game or anything like that. Um, but that's fantastic. 
And now that it counts the animals in the buybacks too, and just to, just to show that too, um, you've got the black dragon there giving uh, 76 points, and the black dragon is obviously in the bioreactor. That's massive. That's so good. Now, the reason why it's got a different score, my spreadsheet said 914, this is uh, 1,069, nice, was that there are a couple of animals that are that, that we have tamed that aren't on the spreadsheet. Um, the Iguanodon, for example, I believe wasn't on there. Um, regular rhinos as well, we have here, but obviously weren't on the one on the spreadsheet. It was made by hand. They obviously put a lot of effort in, but uh, it was slightly, slightly incomplete by comparison, which is why there's that, that, that difference there. That does, though, unfortunately mean... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. They probably spent so long that I'm sorry. It was very, very useful for a very, very long time though. So it's uh it's still very much appreciated. Ah, and here we go. Marge has finished the final bioreactor. So that's fantastic. Because that means now we take uh the final Joris, who is somewhere. Who are we missing? Round Joris. Oh, round Joris. Round Joris. There you are, round Joris. Oh, well, I mean he's already there waiting to Oh, he was already in East Tyson and I missed it. Well, Time for another dose. Did have to send our people out to go and harvest all the heal roots. It turns out we have no medicine, so um, that is something in hindsight that I'll uh, <laughs> I'll add onto the list before the raids start hitting us again. Now that we've got all this colony wealth, not to mention the factions reset back to more or less default room or settings, we are talking like potentially you know your triple rocket launcher space pirates that everybody so loves and knows. I'm surprised the bioreactor is big enough for the biggest, fattest Joris of all. Boom! There we go. Fantastic. And look, they're automatically, uh, it looks as if they're automatically topping up the bioreactors at this point as well. Do you need to get more connected up to the grid? Uh, this one is, but the ones kind of closer to the center aren't going to expand that far out. So now then, I guess we'll, we'll call in the next Joris and kind of take it slowly. Take it one at a time. We've only got 480 points, right? So we can only call in like 19 of the, uh, 19? Yeah, roughly. Uh, Joris experience cargo pods. So let's be very cautious about it. We might get duplicates, like I said. Oh, another Jorito. Oh, Christ, keep it away from the dinosaurs. Whoa, look at that. We've also got Will-O-Wisps, too. Oh, wow. Uh, um, they do drop pig skin. <laughs> well, this Will-O-Wisp suspiciously smells like bacon. And then on this side, we've got a few man traps, which are... I mean, look, it's four points. It's not massive, but we'll take it. Sorry, I mean, um... Man trap. Man, 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 man flesh. Man, fucking give up. <laughs> Move on. We ain't had nothing but deep fried lentils for three stinking days. No, I'm not. I'm not going to get cast, am I? Amazon, if you are watching. <laughs> Amazon, if you are watching, I know you're making the Lord of the Rings series. Come on. We've got it. Man trap. There we go. Unofficial Christmas Joris. You're nice and safe. We've also got apparently battle animals. Oh, Isaac Joris's. Is. Hey. Whoa, that's going to save us a lot of time. There's also, is that a wild? Oh, hang on. They're already tamed. Oh, shit. That's so good. Damn, it's like they heard that we had some free biovats waiting for <laughs> waiting for these animals then. Okay, cool. So we can take... Actually, we've got the um, the, the animal... What is it called? The, the animal list mod? The animal... You, you know what it's called. The one, that, the one that actually alerts us there. Animal discovery. That's it. So what can we take off then? We can remove at this point... Uh, Isaac Joris, you can go. Round Joris, we've got. I went straight past Chainsaw Joris and Block Joris. And we've also got Juby Doo and Sponge Joris Square Bonson. There we go. Holy crap, that was fast. He tamed the Jorito and immediately called it Ernesto. <laughs> <laughs> and then it cloned itself too. So that's the unique mechanic of uh, Jorito is it will make, will make clones because that's what you remember that's what Naruto did. I think that Jorito must have cloned before we captured it. Because there's another Jorito and it's very hungry. To be fair, going after Large Marge with a chainsaw, I think that was a, I think it was a poor idea, my friend. Well, this is the fight we've all been looking forward to. High octane reward action. Holy shit, Marge! <laughs> she just chainsawed that polar bear. Wow. She didn't even she didn't even get a single scratch. Holy shit. Okay, Ernesto. You've got to go. You've got to go under. You've got to go under. I'm, I'm loading animals into these vats specifically so that we can collect them without killing the game. Getting a bear that makes other bears is just dangerous. Oh shit. Oh no. Rambo proposed marriage to Marge, and Marge said no. Marge doesn't fucking need you, Rambo. Now your place, worthless trash, is minus twenty. Jorito cloned itself. What on the way to the vat? Wait, did it? Was there another? The clones make clones. Oh shit. 
<laughs> okay. No, 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 no. We're all right. There is a there is a hard limit of 10, 10 Jorito, but which which normally would be absolutely fine. But when we're also collecting, I mean everything, that's a little bit much. Oh wow, that sounds pleasant. Hello there. Oh good. Oh fucking good. Oh good. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, Mutagenic ships. Those work by mutating. This one seems to have mutagenic effects. Mutating people who get too close, correct? So we have to take this out from a distance. I'll be honest. Friendship ended with TVs. I think maybe now is the time we get pulse charge munitions. We've got all the resources we need, right? We've only got 200 points left. Why did you not finish it? Jonathan, I don't care about training Thomas Lorian Bradford, the giant dragon. What I care about is getting getting rifles getting big strong guns for martinius to craft so we don't get our cheeks clapped again when we try and take out mechanoids with a bloody revolver local youtuber shocked when dogman's head blown clean off by mechanoids <laughs> maybe some armor as well maybe that wouldn't hurt have we got anything i mean like, i don't want to give everybody the same armor set again let's be fair much is using prestige so we can make regular siege breaker then we can make oh, we should try like the grenade era i never make grenade era armor That'd be actually kind of cool. Keep it varied. I'm, I'm probably going to take that rule going into all future series as well. You know, if we're playing with... Oh. If we're playing with Vanilla Expanded, there's no reason why we can't give everybody a unique set of armor and each have their own... Their own... You know, it's not just like giving them recon armor, which is arguably just far worse than marine armor in every way. There'd be no benefits taking one over the other. Um, but with something like Locust armor, and with some... I know that's base game. And the Grenadier armor, which I'm also well aware is base game. But with, with a Siege Breaker and things like that too, we've, we've got enough variety across the across the board to make it work, I think. Oh my god, look at this stuff. We've got an Ackley. We've got a Salamander. I feel like I queued one of those up for... Well, let's be honest, it was probably eaten. Uh, the Jarito is apparently also about to be eaten. I'll be honest, I got no problems with that. Oh my god, they are everywhere. There we go. <laughs> I promise that the massive amount of heavy weaponry and the fact that two giant pandas have appeared are um, very unrelated. Let's take a panda and kill the other panda. That way, their market value won't ever... You know, if you get more than one panda and then suddenly got a bunch of breeding pandas, that's gonna it's gonna ruin the, the resale value. <laughs> wow, that was phenomenally cruel. I don't think we have any more Jorises, do we? I think, I think all the ones we've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think all the ones we've got are now in storage, so why don't we start calling in a couple of others? Whoops. Uh, achievements, and let's go spawn a Joris Experience cargo pod. And we've got ourselves today, <gasps> Jorrit Lodge, the somewhat biologically questionable crossbreed between a Joris and a Derek. <laughs> I'll be honest, I did think for a second that it was just a regular, ah, uh, 18% chance, okay. I did genuinely think for a second it was a regular Mega Sloth. It's like a Mega Sloth, but there's something not quite right about it, you know? Oh, and to complete our Phoenix collection, a Phoenix Owlcat. Then we've got the Flamingo Phoenix and the Flaming Phoenix. There's still more? Oh, shit. This is, <laughs> this is actually insane. Hang on, hang on. I have an idea. There's so many. <laughs> There's so many, Marge. Marge, please, for the love of God, kill them all. God, it's like the cover of Doom, isn't it? Wow. No. No second chances. Kill them all. Kill them all. Thank you. I think it's finally over. I think it's finally over. Thank God. Oh, careful there, John. Oh, God. Oh, God. 5.8% chance. Wow, those things have been tough. Here we go. The main event. Come on, Jorick. Damn it. Oh, Keith. I needed that for my collection, you moron. Oh, that was the thing that was making the horrible noise. Right, got it. What's its ability then, I wonder? Well, I guess I'll... I guess I'll never know now. Also, just to clarify, many people have explained that the way the animals lose sentience is following every mental break. So when we saw, say, bear arms go on a... Uh, Go on a tantrum that was pretty much guaranteed that... Sir? That was pretty much guaranteed that bear arms would lose a level of sentience. People were saying that there... Someone else said that there's no way to actually re make them more sentient. You would have to revert them and then mutate them back. Oh, great. We got the fucking neutral hope. Thank you. Oh, Isaac. Wait, Isaac Jarrus? I'll put you in a... I didn't put you in a bio that. Wait, someone's getting married? Who's getting married? And, and sorry, next question. Why in the prison lobby... <laughs> you know what would be a good place to have the reception? Uh, what about the... Oh, it's Martini's and Filthy Animal. Oh, wow. Oh, what a lovely time to celebrate. I mean, we've got a perfectly good kitchen right there. I suppose because these can as a gather spot, don't they? Yeah, right. Apparently also got a crystalline caracal named Mark. Oh, that's so cool. Marriage is... Oh, don't be that guy that 
proposes at a wedding. That's not good. Oh, come on. Marge agreed. Marge was Marge is such a such a diva. Won't agree to his marriage the first time around. Complains because she doesn't have an honestly quite ridiculous building being built. And then she waits until it's someone else's wedding so she can overshadow them. God, I oh, I really do hate you, Marge. Marge is the Marge is the worst kind of person. Right, we've got uh Karen from the Fallen Sovereignty. Hello. What have you got? Just was wildly inappropriate. These Janissaries turn up with panda hats. <laughs> Don't turn in the freezer. <laughs> um, John touched a vulnerable body part of the Jorrit Lodge, demanding obedience. The Jorrit Lodge refused. Coincidentally, how my first marriage ended. I put one of the magic drill foxes onto... onto Plasteel again. <laughs> so good that they are like this sentient... Magical hyper overpowered fox and we've got them just just drilling copious amounts of steel You guys don't happen to have any plasteel do you because we've got a mechanoid Mutagenic area that's um getting actually dangerously out of hand and I'm got anything to fight them with <laughs> Yeah, margin of chainsaw in there. Oh Did I genuinely press capture or not? Oh fucking hell Oh for fuck's sake I'm never going to financially recover from this. Well, okay then. Oh, well, I mean, we'll be fine. It's just more the fact that I've now got to send them a bunch of shit to make them our friends again. John's down. John's down. John's down. Shit. 15 hours. He's fine. John's fine. Marge? Marge is going to open up like a fucking tin can. Kill him. Get the alpacas. <laughs> Get him, Marge. Yes. <gasps> Gemstones, jewels. Who'd have thought there was such profit in attacking the empire? Holy shit. High tier, high tier. Where are my foxes? Foxes, kill the lot. Kill them. Kill them. Rerulian dragons here. Sideshow's here. Oh, it's a massacre. It is a fucking massacre. Kill that alpaca. Don't let it escape. Oh, you stupid fucking fox. They're an exotic goods trader. Holy shit. Wow, this is great. Six advanced components. What do we get from... We've got some psychic readers, components. <laughs> ah, please get the, please get the alpaca. Go, run, run, run. Okay, he's on it, he's on it, he's on it, he's on it. Go, go, faster. Let's well, be fair, they've been heavily, heavily injured. That alpaca is, uh, yeah, fire at the alpaca, no? All right, we're gonna let that go. We're gonna let that one go. You can have that one for free. <gasps> uh, fucking what? Sideshow? Sideshow. What have you done? <laughs> what are they doing? Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, sweaty fox zone go, I suppose. I'm not gonna lie, these dragons are in a they're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> they are in a massive amount of trouble. Holy shit. And then we've got what, two siege breakers, two centipedes, fireworm obviously no problem for for dragons. Uh a pikeman. Three lances is that? Really? Only one pikeman? Wow. Two centipedes. I mean, really, it is the goliaths and the uh, siege breakers I'm a little bit concerned about. John okay? Oh, John's back up. John's back up. John's back up. Tend to, tend to John, John. I mean, luckily for us, the two stronger dragons wandered in first rather than it being the Kulin, because I feel like they'd have probably got, got their ass handed to them. Come on, Thomas and Keith. Oh, there must have been an Imperial in here. Shredded. Venerata using a right fist completely viciously beat Bert. Oh, someone tried to chase Bert down. Probably because he's high sentience. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Okay, well, look, the cue are here now. Thomas L. Bradford. Almost here. Ready? Here we go. Void Dragon Breath. Kill the lot. Kill the lot. Sideshow's down. Rebellion Dragon is down. That's not ideal. Uh, the dragon has gone to sleep mid-combat. Uh, so have the fucking foxes. What are you doing? This is a mess. This is a mess. These auras are essentially, uh, scythers, for lack of... Random word. Okay, Keith, 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 Keith. Keith, we need an expert. Keith fought the void monsters and lived to tell the tale. Oh, except for that one where it... Oh, I'm already didn't. Go, get him. Get him, Keith. Get him, Keith. Get him, Keith. Oh, I barely did anything. We were we were totally unprepared for this. This is ridiculous. I, our animals are just getting absolutely annihilated. Uh, filthy animal, I appreciate the gesture. Now's not the time. Fleeing? Fleeing? You're a giant friggin' dragon. Kill! Keith's gone for a meal. Thomas is getting back in there, though. Oh, God, Sorcia. Sorcia, Sorcia. Oh, let's go for Let's go for the centipede. How is this one doing? 
Okay, fine. How are the dragons doing? Eight hours, 12 hours. Oh God, this is fucked. This is all sorts of fucked. Between these two, we might be able to... Oh, please be careful with that. Then we're gonna have to get other people in there to go and help out. It's a bit of a gamble. John's, John's tended to. Let's get, let's get him in there. We've, we've got to go stabilize these dragons. Fucking hell, those siege breakers. Keith, get in there, Keith. How are we doing, Sorsha? We've almost knocked out that centipede. I'm gonna go for a molten breath or not? Let's go for a molten breath down the down the center there. Nice. Oh, very nice, very nice, very nice. Good hits. Kulin two is back up. That's good. That's high tier. Let's go for the centipede. Sorsha is down though. We've traded one for the other. Come on, come on, come on. The choir mechanoid chip interface. Oh, nice achievement. Might mean another Joris. Very good. I love that Keith went to go get his lunch and then decided, you know what? Actually, I should probably help out. <laughs> they are distracted. Get in there. Get in there. Do some damage. Do some damage. I'm not... I wonder if these trees are mutagenic. Probably something we should have figured out before we... Before we came in. I would say we'll call in the help with, um... <laughs> with Marge, but, uh... That ship has well and truly sailed. Filthy animals down. Look, this was a risk that I knew we would have to take. Get in there, Marge. Get in there, Marge. Martinius, rifle, please. No pressure. Oh, fuck. 17 hours. How are we looking? 20 hours. Keith and Thomas are fine. Rebellion Dragons at 9. Sideshow's at 6. Marge's in there. She's bringing him down. She's bringing him down. That's what I'm going to tell myself. She's not. She's she's actually doing nothing. Oh, fuck. I hate it. Brennan, when we got Yeo's combat, so this is a... This is a pretty horrible situation. Okay. Your melee attacking siege breakup. Why don't you melt that centipede for me? Uh, you're still on cooldown. Come on, Keith. Come on, Keith. Come on, Keith. Come on, Keith. Kill it. Okay. Well, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Take another answer. Uh, Rambo. Kill that centipede. <laughs> with, your, with your semi automatic rifle. Oh, I suppose it's possible. Holy shit. They actually hit it. They've actually taken out the centipede. Uh, don't worry about the siege breakers. Or worry about the siege breakers. Marge is taking them apart. Fucking hell. Well, that one just fired and didn't do anything. Uh, what are you aiming at? Like Katala. Uh, maybe run? Fast, though? Okay, it was Martinez. We're alright, we're alright, we're alright. They're terrible at close range, so we're okay. Right, you're getting in with some more breath. Good shit. Watch out for Marge. Uh, Keith is... Oh, watch out for Marge. Marge is down, Marge is down, Marge is down. She's 17 hours. She's fine, she's fine. We're getting in there with melee. Right, okay. Uh, Martinez, we need to start stabilizing now. Not sending to doctoring. Oh, God, who's our spare doctor? Uh... It's John. Burger. Burger's actually okay. Burger and Katala are actually both fine at doing this. Right, get in there. Uh, probably actually tend to self. Probably not a terrible idea. Burger, six hours. Oh, God. Yeah, self tend, self tend, self tend. They're distracted. No, 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 no. You need to like self tend right here. Uh, burger, same story. Self tend here. How are you doing, filthy animal? Five hours. Okay. Uh, who else have we got on doctoring potential? Martinius is also a doctor now. Five hours, seven hours. Five hours with filthy animal. 19 hours with the Kulin. The other Kulin's up. So you go tend to filthy animal. Marge is fine. Marge is fine. She's not fine. She's quite literally bleeding to death, but she's okay. The dragons have got this on lock. There's a single fire one. You're trying to eat a meal. You kill him. Oh, Marge, I'm so sorry if this hurts. She got hit once. Nine hours. But they've, de they've dealt with another one. They've dealt with another one. Berg is fine. Katala is also now fine. So you stabilize Marge. You stabilize Sideshow, who I think was dying in four. Yep. Uh, filthy animal. Are you actually tending there? You are. 21. Eight hours. Right, so you now go for Marge. Oh, no, 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 no. We already have Marge. We already have Marge covered. You go for Marge. Uh, you actually keep keep going there. Keep going there. How are we looking? Uh, the, the foxes are fine. Everything's okay. I Burger just was blown to pieces. <laughs> Everything's okay, except for the fact Burger just took a mortar shell to the chin. Uh, everything's fine. Everythinging's fine here. Keith, Keith's handling the siege breaker. We're okay. All I've got to do now is very carefully juggle. Oh my god, Katala's also damaged heavily. This is fucked. John, how you doing? John, get over here. John, we're going to need some help. Fuck it. Rambo, 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 Rambo can't tend. I was going to say we put Rambo on as well. Uh, Rambo, grab the LMG. We can at least get you helping out here in some way or another. Keith, watch yourself. Okay, 25. Come on, Keith. There we go. Nice and nice. Okay, so all the mechanoids are dealt with. In my culture, death is not the end. Uh, well, in this playthrough, death is very much the fucking end, because we don't have, uh, <laughs> we don't have Resurrect Max Serums. Right, Martinius, let's go for Burger now, please. I am going to prioritize our people over the dragons. I think that makes sense. Medical emergency animals. Yeah, it's Sideshow. Yeah, it's Sideshow. Katala is also in a bad way here. Where's John? Man of the hour. Looks at my coming in the east. Right, go, 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 go. March, march, march. 
Bert is... Okay, well, fuck Bert. Get out of here. Right, you start getting people home. You get Filthy Animal back. Okay, Marge is blitting out an eight. Burger's fine. Leave Burger. Burger's fine. Sideshow. Okay, so you self-tend. Martinius, go for Sideshow. Okay, okay, we're fine. We're fine. 12 hours. Good shit. Good shit. Uh, Ruru in four. Shit. Okay, how much more damage have you got? Two more. So, one more self-tend on you. Come on. Come on. Fine. Now you go for the dragon. Marge is okay. Marge is getting there. Keith, two is up. I didn't even realize Keith got downed. Keith's bleeding out. Oh, shit. Poor Keith. Um, how's Marge doing? Let's give Marge a little longer in the oven. Got 50 conditions left on Sideshow, but Sideshow is fine. They do have that regeneration passive. Uh, same with the Rerulean Dragon. We do need to keep tending to the Rerulean Dragon, though. Martinius is going for medicine. Oh, shit. Okay, fair enough. I wasn't expecting that. John is going for Kulin 2. Then we've got... Loads of animals. How's Keith doing? Oh, shit. I completely forgot about Keith. How's he looking? Three hours. Oh, fuck. I have not got enough people for this. Burger. Burger contend. Burger's already tending to Keith. Okay, you know what? I'll let him get the medicine. Oh, Keith. Oh, Keith. Two hours, two hours, two hours. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. How are we looking? Eight hours there. 48 condition tending. Okay, you're good. You're on Sorcia now. Good, 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 good. Sideshow's fine. Marge is fine. They're down. They're injured, but they're fine. John collapsed. No, 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 no. John, 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 John. Okay. Uh, Martinius. Okay, let's go through. Let's go through here. Five hours on Filthy Animal. Rambo's good. Rambo, fuck off. Bear in mind, Rambo can't tend. Katala's in bed. Marge is fine. John is good. Tended the Kulin. I don't care about the Raptor. How's Keith? Bleeding out one hour. Keith is not in a real... Uh, he's not in a good way. Has he given his life again to save the colony? Come on, Keith. Come on, Keith. Two hours. Yes, we're buying him time. We're buying him time. 20 condition is running. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Go, 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 go. What was it? Katala. It wasn't Katala. Who was it? Filthy Animal. Uh, reserved by Martinez. Martinez is already on it. Oh, shit. We might be okay. We're not going to lose a single person. Expert doctoring. Two conditions. One condition. Boom. You're fine. Okay, John. John is good. Martinez is good. Burger's good. Filthy Animal's good. Rambo is good. Katala still needs treatment. Martinez. Uh, fuck the fire. Let's go. Tend to Katala. Then we've got John. John's fine. What about Marge? Marge is... Uh, let's not say good. She's battered and bruised and on the floor, but she's had the time of her life out there opening mechanoids like tin cans and Imperials like tin cans and pandas. <laughs> if these dragons didn't passively regenerate, we'd have lost a lot, I think. I think the passive regeneration kept... Uh, oh, God. Okay, no, no. You were rescuing Marge. I think the passive regeneration definitely kept the Rerulean dragon alive. Burger, uh, not now. Badly malnourished. You don't fucking look very malnourished, pal. Uh, okay, he's going to try and kill Filthy Animal. What do we do at this point? Filthy Animal? Let's get... Uh, get Martinis with the drill. Sorry, Marge, you're going back on the floor. Can I get promoted? Uh, you've got to come and save your wife's life. This is quite literally the day after the wedding. They've all been hospitalized. Bert will stop him. Bert! Okay, right, Burger. No, not Bert! Fucking Martinius! Get him, get him, get him. Right. Burger is no longer. We can just let him go. We can let him go. Uh, stop! Why did he keep the order? Oh, Bert's fuck. Uh, Bert's pissed. Bert's after Martinius. <laughs> Turns out stegosauruses don't take well to get in a drill to the head. Well, I think it's fairly safe to say we need to do one of these for a little while. Maybe give him a couple of days off because that is, um, that's danger. That, that was danger. The fucking dragons just wandered right in. I guess it's because they were already in combat with these guys. And then they just ended up wandering over and finishing the job. I suppose they've done it. That's that's great and all. Wasn't the ideal way that I wanted that to go down, but hey, we got some charged shotguns out of it. <laughs> we got some LTEX necklaces. Oh, cool. Those give a uh, natural heat recovery rate, psychic sensitivity, beauty, and social impact. Oh, that's cool. So Ramo's got a very, very minor bleed. Same with Martinius. Sideshow needs a lot of tending. Thomas, Lorian Bradford is fine. Kulin 2 is absolutely fine. What happened to the other Kulin? Where's Sorsha? Uh, still out there. Absolutely fine, though. Six conditions need tending. Ah. Infection is four tail. Right. Okay. We can we can deal with that. That's okay. We're not going to get a big 10 quality here, I'm afraid to say. Come on, John. Come on. 19%. Okay. Well, that wasn't, that wasn't perfect. That really was not perfect. And it's not really much of a surprise, given that John's in pieces. John was in pieces before. How's he looking now? So he's lost an eye, an ear. It's all of his left-hand side was pulled off. Had his other <laughs> his other parts that 
are on the left though to find are all crushed and stabbed. Elephant tusk? Hey? Trocus? Who the hell is Trocus? Well, Jorrit Lodge is out here just living his best life. No idea what's happened. Just having a, a lovely day. Well, I think uh, we'll leave it there. We didn't exactly get much Jorrit's progress done, but I think I need to give them a little bit of time in the oven just to chill out. And uh, there's not really much we can do right now because they're all <laughs> they're all basically bedridden and broken. So hopefully tomorrow when we dive back into things and pick things up, they'll uh, be nicely patched up and ready to face the world and get a bit more drilling done. Thank you in the meantime, of course, to the executive producer patrons for making this episode and many others like it possible in the first place. I have a video going up on the second channel. It's an Isaac episode, but I'm talking about kind of the future of this channel and the second channel on it. Uh, it's kind of a background topic. We don't really do much of the, the actual Isaac gameplay. Um, so if you're not interested in the game, but would like to listen along to that to kind of keep yourself clued in, it'd be pretty good. I'll do a Patreon post in at some point too, but uh, just to let you know. Thank you to Echo Cakes, Castle, Exodus, Elite IMP, Vash, Night Rouge, Bling Magica, Texas Yardbird, Scourge, Tompage, Icewolf, or Kansas, Encrust Slave, Mr. Mosin, and Demon Boy for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Big thank you to you guys for making the channel all possible in the first place. And a thank you as well goes out to Oilzan, Struckiron, Kumbi, Blue Chaos, Lunatic, Robbie Boy, Bucky, Smirtworm, Warsheep, Angry Ares, Papa Snow, Genji Circa, Sync9, Vegan Slayer, Zega the Chaos King, and Tesnath. 